it's an appearance of a phenomena that appears and it's called thoughts. But the one who's observing it, if it doesn't give any importance to it. It's simply a phenomena, it's simply a, a flock of birds are traveling into the sky. It has zero importance, it's nothing. The great sky doesn't care that the thoughts are traveling through it, the, the birds are traveling through it. It's a non-existing phenomenon, nothing is really happening. You can't register your thoughts, there is no trace of your thoughts. All these thoughts you have thought about, where are they? Show me your thoughts. You've been thinking, or anyone, not, I'm just not saying you. All these years you've been thinking, where is it? Where are they? So that's what I'm saying, our education. Th that's why so many times I keep repeating myself and sharing with you, you have to let go of all the ideas you have. You've got to get empty and come to this place that I really don't know anything. Okay, now the great master teach me. I don't know anything, especially spiritual ideas. And just learn from there. Because the great one, the greatness will, will pour it in. But we have all these ideas and then we get more filled up with the ideas. So the cup is full, you know, I put this cup in here and it's this much full. There's no room, there's very little room to put anything else into it. You got to get, get it empty. Because just use a logical example. How much this spiritual understanding or knowledge that we have accumulated helped us. Where are we? Where are you now? I want to read something to you from Lightning Notes of Zarathustra. Okay, it came straight. Page one, 130. It, and it's perfect. It just showed up. Where are you now? So you did the 90-day Inner Awakening course with Nithyananda, and you can even levitate. You did the medicine journey with the Peruvian shamans in the Amazon, the 10-day Vipassana in Himalayas with the Tibetans, the Kunlun teaching training, the yoga teacher training, received a special hug from Amaji, the seven-day chakra clearing and five-day cord cutting course, Osho's 21-day Mystic Rose, Prembaba's ABCs of Spirituality, the Hawaiian Kahuna's Secrets of Unlocking Hidden Powers, as well as Smoking Chillum with the Sadhus in India. You had your various initiations, changed your name and shaved your head, you made peace with your inner child and had major breakthroughs with Tony Robbins. You even went to a few of Zarathustra's fifth dimensional quantum healings. You have become a vegetarian and you're working your way to become a breatharian and you have been able to practice celibacy. I must say I am very proud of you and very impressed. You have accomplished a lot. Still, I have one simple question for you. Where are you now? Where are you now? Why are you still a mess? 
Why are you so worried about what's going to happen in the world? Why are you so concerned? How come you can't manage your mind? How come you're, you're still a victim of your mind, your emotions, and all of that? I put myself in there because I'm also making fun. I'm bringing all these great teachers and I put myself in there so I'm not excluded. So we're adding all these medals. Okay, I got this certificate. I've done that thing. I've done that thing. I'm, I'm a master of this and then I did master of that. I got my Reiki mastery. I got the blah, 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 blah. But then why are you still a mess? Where are you now? What have you accomplished? Why still worried about everything? and scared of this and that and worry about the future of the world or because we have not discovered inner peace we have not dove into the greatness of the being we have not gone beyond the mind into silence hence we're suffering so all these metals don't do anything for us. It's just as simple as, as, as it is. I'm not saying these courses are good or bad. If they lead you to the greatness of who you are, and they bring you to this place of inner peace and inner silence and dive into the observer recognition of the observer the one who is still and here and simply is watching but it's not involved with what is watching it's simply a spectator it's like going, I had this conversation with a friend of mine last night. He came over, we went to dinner, and he was saying, what do you think is going to happen after the election and, and uh, blah, blah, blah. And I think it's going to open up and everything's going to be fine. And da, 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 da. I said, I don't know. I'm just curious and interested to see what's going to happen. Well, what do you want it to happen? I said, I want it to happen whatever is going to happen. I'm indifferent, completely indifferent to it.